everything's all right. But I had you who want to abort it. Why? I will not let it hinder my source of livelihood. You, you insisted on not using protection. And now, you have to bear the cost of the abortion. This may sound stupid. What if I want you to keep your pregnancy? <laughs> keep what? <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot keep it. Not even the king can make me keep it. I am the king. What? Are you serious about this? You... You are the king. <laughs> no. I only disguise when I want to leave the palace so I won't be recognized. I am the king. Oh, 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 oh. So it was your wife that came here a few minutes ago and warned me about you? My wife was here? When? What? Was she alone? few minutes before you arrived. And she is very serious about this. It's all right. Um, let's get back to the main issue. What are you saying? Will you keep it? I will reward you handsomely. I will keep it, just to annoy your wife. <sighs> Not to worry, I'll keep her away from you. Hmm? Better. I will send my friend to you. I'll take very good care of you, right? I'll find another time to see you. How time flies. It seems like yesterday. The mistake I made for marrying a woman who delayed to give me an heir to my throne. Everybody here. Rejecting my food would not stop me from finding out who you have started seeing recently. Knowing how much you despise my son. Gabe, please, would you let me have? Peace of mind. Not until you tell me who she is. Last night was the second night you were sleeping out of this palace since we got married. Who is she? The last time I remember you telling me she was pregnant for you and you had plans of making her your second wife. But you think I've forgotten all that? Keep talking. Yes, I will keep talking. Because you're planning to bring her and her child into this palace. Why is it hard for you to say it? I am the king. It is my right to take decision that I think fit. Then say it. You not saying it is an act of cowardice. For you to keep it to yourself. Kings do not keep such information to themselves. 
said, you're a man, a full-blooded man, and a king for that matter. Spill it out. Mother, why are you crying? My son, I am fine. It's nothing for you to worry about. No, you can't tell me that. I'm seeing my mother hot and she's telling me not to worry about it. What's the problem? It's your father. He has gone back to his mistress. Mom, is that why you're crying? My father can have as many mistresses as he wants. But one thing is for sure. No woman will come to this palace to take your place. Eh? He got her pregnant in the past night. He wants to marry her. No, no, that will never happen. That will never happen as long as I remain in this palace. Oh, come on, mom. This is Candy talking to you. My father cannot do such a thing. No woman will take your place in this kingdom. My son, there is nothing we can do about it. He's the king. He has the right to marry as many women Mom. as he wants. Look at me. Oh, mamme. What did I say? Oh, mamme. Oh, mamme. Oh, mamme. Yeah. Okay. So, chair up. Okay? It's okay. Never happened. Put to bed to your pants of baby boy. Thanks to the gods of my ancestors. At last I have an heir to the throne. Yes. In that case, uh, let me prepare a driver to take us there. All right. I'll be right Everything I worked for just went down the drain. I should have listened to my mother. I should have brought Beatrice and her son to the palace. The enemy would not have had a chance to deal ruthlessly with me like it has.
you cannot continue like this. That boy Kambi does not have the qualities of being a king, neither to rule this land. Himself and his mother will rule this land. Mother, how should I handle this? I think it's too late. No, it is not too late. It is not too late. You're still strong and vibrant. Get yourself another wife. Get another woman who will give you a better heir to the throne. You, you, you're making it sound so simple. How do I handle it? Will you know how desperate Kambi is? Ebubediki, your word is law. Your decision is final. God forbid that that boy ascends the throne of your forefathers. It is not my wish either. I can see the devil in him. He will just ruin everything that I have worked for. Oh. If Beatrice's son, my son, had not died, I wouldn't be going through all this. Oh. Whoever killed Beatrice and took my son away, we not go free. My son, forget about the past and focus on the future. Just calm down. Things will be okay. I hope you wasn't listening to our conversation. I do not care. I don't care one bit. And let me warn you. Do not be scared of this rat. I'm listening to you talk. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm listening. I'm to talk. So I'm not worried, I'll soon be done. The person is telling me something very important. Yes? Mom, this is very important. Can we talk? Let me call you back, please. Bien, excuse us. You're making a meaningless call. What's more important than what I'm about to tell you? Are you mad? How dare you raise your voice at me? I am your mother. You have no right whatsoever to raise your ugly voice at me. Okay? Father's mistress. Are you aware he had a son for him? What? Who told you that? Well, I am aware. The son is no more, just like the mother. Lie. The son is still alive. He was just kidnapped. So wherever he is right now, he's alive. Kanti, why do you like bothering yourself about little, little things? Kidnapped or dead, they both mean the same thing. That means disappearance. Your father does not know him. He does not know your father either. So I don't know why you're bothering yourself about such stupid story. Of course, I'm not need to be worried, Mom. I am the crown prince, so I need to be aware of any threat going around my side. Kanti, can you calm down? My son, you have nothing to be afraid of. Queen Mother is pressurizing the father to get a second wife. She said I cannot ascend the throne after my father. That got me thinking. Is that man truly my father? Are you stupid? Are you mad? Ebedike is your father. Let me never hear this kind of useless question from your mouth ever again. 
no matter what his mother does, I will never let him take a second wife. Because he has an heir. And that is you and no one else. Well, that's, that's better. That's more like it. Because I would never compromise my position for nobody. No. Arrogant, so selfish, without respect. Ooh. I wonder what he feels. I wonder what he thinks. Ooh. Tomorrow is bigger than what you think. He's a beast. In human clothing, he's full of pride. Beware of him. He's a beast. In human clothing, no conscience at all. Beware of who he is. A Papa. 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 And then what is it? <laughs> Papa. This one where you just say uh, your mind come off from where you did. What thing they happen? Eh? Anybody find your trouble? Make it tell me. Make I go change them for them. Eh? Take this place inside. Eh? I go take the place inside. But why your mood be like this? Your mood no good though. If anybody find your trouble, make you tell me. Make I go change them for them. You no know, say you you get tigress here now. Did you hear what I said? I said, take this place out. Papa, make you calm down. Make you calm down. Hey, Papa, I get something where I want to ask you. Oh, what is that? Make I sit down. See, Papa, I want to ask you. What is that? That my brother. That uh, Alozi. What happened to him? I beg. Now my brother be that. Now my real brother. Now wait now. Like we are two brothers. That question is irrelevant. Yeah. Get out of my sight. Ha! Papa, how do you put Sunday irrelevant? Now? Get out of my sight! Papa, make you they calm down. I don't understand you, Papa. I which kind of TV? Did they change them for me? Why they change I said out! No, I'll go come out, so boys. You need to answer me this question. Make I know whether we day two boys for this place. I've been mean, a one with day. Papa, make your blood they calm down. Every day they do like this. Make you, make you know they do like that. Too. Hey, your blood stay hot now. Which kind of TV is this? Ah, you go just take power anyhow. Ah. Have you seen how much shame you have brought on our father's throne? If our late father Iwakaka had messed the throne up as you are doing now, would you have had the privilege to sit on his throne? No, you won't. A king who cannot control his son is he expected to rule over a full community? It would be please forfeit the throne. Hand the kingship over to me. Just focus on other things. Allow me to restore dignity to our father's name. What if I don't? Anayo. What if I do not? What will you do? It's only a stubborn fly that follows the corpse to the grave. That sounds to me like a threat. Anayo, are you threatening me? Are you threatening me, Anayo? Call it threat. It will be call it anything you like. But mind you, your days on that room are numbered.
The grace. What happened? Wait, is it true that Igwe is dead? What you heard is the truth. Hi. What is happening? Hi. I mean, what is going on? Can someone talk to me? You, this evil man. You have succeeded in killing my father, right? Huh? Gaff. What? This man up in the dungeon! Succeeded in killing my father. Not in jail. Hi! William Mayfield, man. Okay. That man. You have been found guilty of murder. For poisoning and killing the king, my father, and your brother. What do you have to say in your defense? You elders would rather believe a small boy instead of me. I have nothing else to say. You already have condemned me, so... Nobody has time for your cheap blackmail. You are the last person to serve the king a drink before he passed on. So as the king of this land, I find you guilty. And you will be executed in the next full moon. That's my judgment. You will not make me childless. Anayo is my only surviving son. Please do not kill me. You mean your only child of a murderer should be allowed to walk around freely? Any other punishment will do but not death. Mm. Let's see. Okay. I think I have another punishment for him. Anaya, you are to be the king's royal tester. You are to test any food I'm going to eat before I eat it. So that. If any of your enemies decides to poison you to death, I will die in your stead. I will not do it. And be prepared to die of your atrocities. Your son said he will not do it. He will do it. It is better than death. is not to break it. Leave us. Yes, good morning. Ugebe, I am surprised at you. You are not the woman that my son got married to. How can you sit and you watch your son condemn his own uncle to death. Now he has turned him into his slave. You're doing nothing. Would you still sit down and do nothing about it? You want me to say or do something? I will not do that. You want me to play the curse of a murderer? Someone that killed my husband in his quest for the throne? Never. I will not do that. We have the feeling that my son is innocent. Yes. Anayo and his brother might be having some squabbles among themselves. They might have their own differences. But he can never, 
He can never kill his own brother. Never. Lawyer, Ibama. Well, why don't you tell the king himself? Why don't you have mouth? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. My love, you are not interrupting nothing. The queen mother here said I should ask you to release Anayo of the position you gave him. Why would I do that? Am I being lenient by letting him leave? My son is a royal blood. He is part and parcel of this family. So he does not deserve such humiliation. And my late father does not deserve to die. Your stupid son killed my father. Kamdi, death is inevitable. Yes, you too will die someday. I don't understand. And you will not die someday. Sets you right. Stupid. This will be the last time you talk to me in that manner. Else, I'll lock you up for conspiracy. Fool. You're lucky he didn't even bait you with it. He should have baited. Oh no, it's my fault. I didn't remain enough for you to Rubbish. bait her with it. Nonsense. <laughs> Deal with it. Queen Mother! Good for you. I will not stop until he pays for his sins. Tomorrow is bigger than what you think. He's a beast in human clothing. He's full of pride. The sins will be Mom. I told you because of this man here. He said he's your cousin. Do you know him? Yes, he's my long lost cousin brother. Oh. You're welcome, long lost cousin brother. Just make yourself comfortable, okay? You can stay as long as you want. Uh, thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, your hospitality is Pan-African. Uh, I must commend that. <laughs> You're welcome. It's fine. I will assign one of my mediums to you know, make sure you're, you're okay. If you need anything, you can talk to them, okay? You can leave. Mom, yes. one of the mediums to assign it to Hey, hey, where are you going? I'm supposed to call the maiden to take you to your room. I wait for the maiden. Oh God! No wonder he's long lost. Guards! No worry, I'll take it off from there. Oh, I handled it. Please do. It's fine. Yeah. My son will change it. What does it look like I am doing here? I am here to deal with my family. What nonsense family are you talking about? I told you I had no right over the boy, didn't I? Uh, well, you did, but uh, what you did not consider was if I ever uh, bought the idea. 
Well, now that my son is a king, right, he needs the attention of his father and you know, his support in every angle. And going by what I heard on how the former king died, I don't want such fate on my son. That's why I'm here. You're mad. Huh? Honora, you are not wanted here. Huh? I would advise you to leave immediately. Take your stupid left legs, your wobbly two legs, Take them out of this palace immediately. Please. Excuse me. I, I am here to stay, Ugobe. <laughs> let, let, let me tell you something. I will drag you to the mud if that is what it will take me to cement my stay here. Let me tell you something. My son is a king. Don't give me that tomato paste look. Which place that? Are you a baby or what? It's me. Oh. Maybe you see yourself as if you're a young man. It's honor, I'm out of respect. everybody. Your first love. Respect yourself, please. Respect uh, okay, yourself. Wait. You remember that time that rain used to fall and two of us will be on top of bed and the only noise you make is, Ayo! <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. That was then. Now I am a queen. I don't have to mingle with you. Get that into your small school. Okay, wait, stop. Your husband is dead. Mm -hmm. And it's not as if you're going to marry the present king, your son. Just accept me back. Eh? Let me go to where I hung my dancing shoes. And we resume. <laughs> so from where we stopped. It's you a are natural who? phenomenon. No, like you and who? You and I? Stop living in delusion. Think about something better in the future. Since you have decided that you want to stay here. Avoid me at all costs. Because if you do, <laughs> make sure you pay for it. Because you don't want to know the hand for you. And for you. I will have to take my hand. You should, and you should keep me there. Don't be living in the dreams of the past. Are you mad? The time I've been waiting for is finally here. So soon, very, very soon, Ugebe will finally submit to me. Bravo! <laughs> Honora! Bra I have uh, an introduction to make. Quick one. Go and call. Quick. So this person is going to be part of us. Um, yeah, there he comes. So he is my new special advisor. From today, it's going to be part of us, like I said, part of decision making, and of course, part of the cabinet members. Like, he's going to be the king's right hand man. Your Majesty, I thank you very much for finding me worthy to serve in this Palasha Palace. I, I say thank you very much. Uh, cabinet members, I I recognize it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your Highness, you are a young and wise king. That's right. Your decision to choose a personal advisor is a good one. But this young man here is a stranger to our land, custom and tradition. I feel it should be better for you to choose among the cabinet members. Um, he may be a stranger, but to you people. But he's not a stranger to me. And that is why I chose him for the job. Okay? 
So my decision is final. You don't have no right to question my decision. Uh, no, 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 no. Swallow it. Don't say that. Yeah, I just. I take a bow. What's that you can You can leave. Oh, hello. I got that. Yeah, yeah, baby. Hey. Wanted at palace by the king. Now, where is your sister? She's not at home. Ogeze, search the house. And you're eating. Now. Oh Lord. What happened? What have I done? Don't worry. When you get to the palace, you know what you've done. She's nowhere to be found. My friend, you think we are joking with you? You need to come with us to the palace now. But, but at least let me finish my, my food. I'm just coming back. Hey, my friend, don't you have respect for royals? Come from the farm. Hey, move, move, move. move. Stand up, brother. Stand up, move, move, move. What have I done? Don't worry, we'll get to the palace. Wait, let me lock up the doors. Are you, are you choking with us? Look at Adora, she's she, she, she sitting down there doing nothing. Adora, Adora. Ha! See my guy, make, make, make you know they call my name, oh. See, face the work where you know you. You know this fan work where, where? The fan work know you, you know him. You sabi him, so leave me, oh. Leave me, I beg. Who mentioned my name? Mama, you're not saying anything now. Mama. Oh. Ah! Mama. 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 Papa, 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 you need to come home immediately. Mama is sick. We were in the farm when she fell and now she's not saying anything. Hey, you hide it. And where do you think you're going? So we're not done with this meeting. That's right. Your Highness, it is my wife you're talking about. Also? Please, allow me to attend to her. I am the only one who knows how to prepare the drugs for our element. Friends, sit here. Let's finalize this meeting. You're not going anywhere. 
What do you mean he's not going anywhere? You are telling me that our mother is sick, that we need our father's help, and you say he can't go anywhere? Are you God? Papa, please let's go. You're talking to me? Papa, Papa let's go. Just, 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 just go, I'm coming. I, I won't spare you next time. I, I won't spare you. How brazen. Please, Your Highness, don't take what he said seriously. He's just a neighbor who doesn't know what he's saying. Of course, I'm taking it seriously. Huh? Oh, yes. He will pay for it. That's right. Anyway, let's continue with this meeting. Now, you said um, we need to do it how many times in a month? It should be done twice weekly. Twice uh, weekly? From when to when? Uh, as it pleases, sir, uh, Your Highness. As it pleases, that's what I'm asking. The way it pleases me, does it please you people like that? We well, have no option. You are the king. That wicked king refused to permit him to leave the meeting. But don't worry, I will find a way to prepare my own medicine. Let me go and get some help. But, but, but can you prepare the herbs? Yes. See, I will not allow Mama to die. Go and get me a kitchen knife. Mama, sorry, Mama, sorry. Why is Candy this wicked? I mean, why is he this Carlos? Why? Huh? Amara, you are referring to the king by his name. What about respect? Mother, he is first my brother, so I will refer to him by his name. Don't do that again. The question is, why is your son such a wicked man? Why is he so mean? What has he done? Okay. Mother, a man was brought into the palace today. What was his offense? He came into the palace to call his father to inform him that his mother is very sick and at the point of death. What did your son do? He refused to allow the man to take care of his sick wife. What kind of... What, what, what no, kind of... Shut, shut up. Huh? Amara, allow the king my son, to discharge his duties as the king of this land and stop interfering in his decisions. Ningro Kai. Really? Yes, really. You can see I was busy with my phone trying to process some information. Would you please let me be? I want to be left alone. Excuse me. Of course I will. And I wish you and your, your son good luck. Thank you and excuse us. You don't live sense. Don't you know that you should be respecting your, your own brother? Protect your brother. Hey, see, na 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 na. Idiot. I'm going now.
I am not in the mood for your stupid jokes. I am not in the mood for your stupid antics you're playing. I am tired. Leave me alone. I am tired too. I am tired of lying to my son. I am tired of looking at my son in the eye and can't tell him that I am his father. Can you shut Not up? choose. Who will tell him first? You or I? I will not do such thing. And neither will you. After all these years, my son believes Abedike was his father. And that will never change. Abedike will remain his father till the end of time. Are you mad? Who is Ibu King? Well, I'm alive. You are going, eh? Ibu King? Why are oh. you laying claim to somebody, a child that is already blessed? Oh, that is what you think. That I'm not a king. In this position, I am a king. Now! I say shut up. I cannot shut up in my son's house. You understand what I'm saying? You... Uh, uh. Uh, the shipping was not um, smooth. That, that is what I mean. Son uh, is my father. So uh, it's not what you think. <clears throat> Don't even think of lying to me because I have been standing right there since two minutes and listening to everything you've been saying. So Nora is my biological father. I am your biological father. Shh. For real, I am your father. So it means that I've been sitting on the throne that is not mine. Son, I am sorry. It's not what you think. You don't say things like that. <laughs> you lied to me, mother. What other lies have you been keeping from me? No, no other lies. Everything I did, I did in your interest. I did everything not to jeopardize your life. I didn't want to put you in harm's way. I protected you with my life. I did. Protected me by lying to me? No, no, no. I didn't lie to you. You, 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 you have never asked me if uh, uh, I were your mother or if uh, Ridike was not your father and all that. So uh, there was no point in me lying to you. I've never lied to you. What is going on? I should have killed you. No, you, you need me. I've been your personal advisor all the while. So I'm important to you. Candy. Come here. What's the this? You see this thing you did? You paid dearly for it. Pay with your life. It wins. Excuse me, Miss Honor. Where do you think you're going don't, to? Oh, don't, 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 don't be around. Don't you try call me Honor. Come here again. Don't you understand the importance of time? Things have changed. So don't tell me, Honora, come back here. That is wrong. Honora! Who Honora? Ibu King. You know, go and have one here. It's your plan. 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 Now you get this place, I've been waiting. I beg, come on for you, make I enter. I say, what are you looking for? You know what are me? you looking for now? You're asking me to. Uh... You won't make I package you. No, you won't make I package you. See, eh, you're so good, and anti eh. You're so good, you're so good. You're so good, and anti eh. You're so good, and anti eh. Good day, Your Majesty. What do you want? I'm here to see my brother Aloze. He has been missing since he came to this place. Nobody has seen him. So we did what we do. So I'm here to see him. 